are, you don't push your compact loader near its fullest operating capacity all the time. But with an attachment like a mulcher, brush cutter, planer, or any attachment that puts a constant high demand on the machine's auxiliary hydraulic system, you can quickly find the limits of your machine. Push it too hard for too long, and the internal heat climbs beyond its capacity to cool, and bad things happen. Red warning lights start to flash, and you need to shut down. That's compounded when working in higher ambient temperatures, humidity, and altitude. Either way, it's a pain. Surprisingly, not all of today's compact track loaders can run continuously near their fullest capacity. In fact, when we tested the ASV RT75 against six of the top competitors, only one machine could run continuously without overheating. Here's how we tested them. Thermocouples placed in the machine's hydraulic and overflow tanks gave us an exact real-time reading of the system's operating temperature. A hydraulic flow meter attached to the machine's low flow coupler let us apply and maintain a precise hydraulic load on each machine. Although all the machines tested are rated to provide at least 3,000 PSI hydraulic flow, we kept the applied load to only 2,000 PSI, which we consider to be a relatively light load. And then we ran the machine at maximum engine RPM while maintaining the hydraulic load and watched the hydraulic temperature. We knew the RT75 would do well in the test because it is designed to run at maximum hydraulic load without overheating. After the first 50 minutes, the RT75's hydraulic temperature rose to 194 degrees, and then it stabilized. After a full hour, it was still at 194 and never climbed higher. The cooling system was working exactly as designed, keeping the machine running well below its maximum operating temperature. The best performer of the competitive machines managed to last 36 minutes before it overheated and had to shut down. The worst performers, two of the six machines, only lasted an unimpressive eight minutes before overheating. We can't imagine how they would do if we really ran them hard. But we are sure of one thing, we wouldn't get a full day's work out of them even if we pushed their hydraulic systems just a little bit. We'd much rather work all day long at full capacity, like you can with an ASV RT-75.